Hi everybody, I enjoyed March Meerschaum Madness so much. I'm still smoking my Meerschaum about twice a day, along with a briar that I choose each day. And in it, I've got my only McClellan tobacco, best, in sh best of show. It really is a nice aromatic. I want to do some shout outs. These are all fairly new people. Um, I'm not going to go into details about each of them because I expect you to go and pay them a visit and um, give them a, a sub if you haven't already. They're well worth subbing. The first is Teacher Piper, and then the 13th Piper. And this one especially, Clint the Frozen Backy Blender, Virginia Piper, The People Piped, and Andrew Sirigliano. Andrew Sirigliano. And I'll put the names down in the bucket below with their links if possible. They all, all produce great videos and I think have a lot to offer the community. And I know some of you have already subbed some of them. I sent off my tobacco to the winner of the gore um, and I hope he receives it fairly soon. I've sent it by air mail so I hope it gets there quite quickly. It's been a rotten day, well a rotten two or three days here. It's just rained and rained and rained and the ground's quite soggy. At least we didn't get any snow that was forecast. Um, but I'm having real trouble with this pipe. I blame my tamper that I was sent. It's become my favourite instrument. I managed to buy a Berthier pipe, 1949. It's a Dunhill. It's never been smoked, but the stem's been replaced with a Dunhill stem, which I don't mind at all. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come. I thought it might come today. But the other pipe that I'm getting is Ben Wade, St George's Day pipe. St George is the patron saint of England and I know he's a patron saint in lots of other places as well. So it's well worth having a look at. They're beautiful pipes. They've got a lovely cross on them and a lovely white stem. Well worth a look. So I'm looking forward to that coming. That should be here quite soon. Along with some Dunhill tobacco. I'm really trying to build up the Dunhill cellar because it's blends I really like and I thought if I buy three or four tins at a time then the cellar will soon 
be right for me. I'm really enjoying pipe smoking at the moment in a way that's beginning to get very, very pleasurable. I think my palate's changed and I'm beginning to appreciate different pipes, different tobaccos um, that seem to smoke so well, especially in this little beauty. Um, one of the latest ones I got was Escudo, and I tried that today, and very nice. I think I have to get used to it, because it's more of Virginia than anything I've been used to, but I really enjoyed it today. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'll give you more news on my condition when I get to see the doctor. But I will say that my blood pressure is very high um, and my pulse rate's high as well. So I think I'll have to be on very strong tablets or see a specialist. And I need to change my lifestyle. I need to stop eating um, processed food in the way of meat and sausages and bacon and all the things that um, I've been eating. I need to go far more vegetarian. I need to cut out salt, which is going to be the really big problem for me. Because I have been putting salt on, chip, on crisps. Um, which aren't, it's not the best way to do it. And I need to get out and do some walking more, so you'll probably see some lunting videos, I hope, soon. But I'm not too worried about it. You know, the, the danger with it is either a stroke or a heart attack when it's this high. Um, I'm just hoping that that stays off until I get down to a reasonable weight or until they can control the blood pressure. I have a machine that I take the blood pressure three times a day and it's quite interesting seeing the results. It did drop a little bit when I was smoking, but whether that was just one off or um, a fluke, I don't know. I'll try and put a story up during the week. I've got several that I found that I think are going to be suitable that aren't too long. I'm still trying to keep up with most of your videos. It takes me usually all morning and into the middle of the afternoon before I've finish the ones that have gathered in my mail and I'm trying to respond to all the ones I watch but that's not necessarily so I will try and at least respond to you one every other video I want to just say how much I'm looking forward to the next few weeks um, probably getting to know some of the newer um, pipe community. Um, I'm fascinated by Clint, who does a lot of his own blends and tobaccos, and I think will have a lot of knowledge to share with us. And I'm sure he would answer any questions that anybody has about blending and pressing and all the things involved with that. I'm not going to go on for too long. I just thought I'd have a little chat before going to bed. It's nearly 10 o'clock here. And the dogs tend to make sure that I know it's bedtime. When Carolyn goes into the bedroom and I stay here watching videos or uploading anything, at least one of them comes to the door and gives me a look as if to say, aren't you going to bed yet? Um, anyway. May you be richly blessed. May God's abundant blessing pour down upon you all. May you be rich in family, 
and in strength and in health. And may your God always be with you and never ever let you go. And again, for those who don't believe in God, <coughs> then live each day as we all should, as if it's our last. I think it was Crazy Horse who came out of his tent one morning and said, today is a good day to die. Um, I've done a death song, in case anything happens to me, but I want to do another one. Um, I think another one would be a bit better. I was a bit hyper when I did the first one. Um, but it was so good it made Carolyn cry. Anyway, good night, folks. Those of you that are just waking up, have a happy day. Those of you who are asleep, well, you'll see this when you wake up, maybe. And those of you who are coming towards bedtime, sleep well. Sleep in peace. And know that you are protected. That loving arms surround you that members of the community are thinking about you. And if you're wrapped with pain during the night, just remember that you're not alone. 